back to my channel. I keep disappearing on y'all, and I'm so sorry. Like, I keep telling myself I'm gonna keep making videos, but I don't. <laughs> Actually, um, I've had a video in the making, but I just haven't been able to record the literally the last part because... I don't know, I feel like I've been busy. And like, honestly speaking, I feel like I've been busy. You know, because when I say I'm busy, I am really busy. I'm just lazy. But before the video gets started or anything, I'm gonna just give y'all a quick mini life update. And then we're gonna get into like what I have planned for today. Is your better title. So I was in Florida for almost a month back in like December. I've been here for about maybe two weeks now back in Canada or whatever. Anyway, ever since I've been back in Canada, my boyfriend, yes. I have a boyfriend literally has been seeing me every not every day but like almost every day for like the past week which is a lot so like i haven't really had time like i'm mad tired and at the same time i'm trying to see my friends in between all that so like there's a lot going on there and like school like literally just started i don't know man like i already know like i'm gonna like hate myself or just hate my life in general because of school. Anyway, that's it for the little mini life update. If you want more details, I shall make a whole ass video. But today we are going to do a curly hair routine. Listen, my hair is mad dry. This is a braid out. I've been doing them for like the past week because I have nothing else to do with my hair. But I'm gonna do a wash and go today and just see how it goes for the week. But my hair is like mad dry, like it needs help, like it needs to be washed deep condition all of that so i'm doing a curly hair routine because i've updated it recently anyway um yeah um i'm gonna tell you guys what i'm gonna do because i'm only showing you the curly hair part not the actual wash i'm gonna wash my hair i wash my hair a different way now and i'm gonna tell you why so i don't like when a lot of my hair falls out in the shower like my like fallout slash breakage or whatever isn't that bad most of the time but sometimes there are times when it's like really bad like i'm losing a lot of hair and like i ain't gonna lie to you i have a lot of hair on my head i just think i don't mind losing the strands but like sometimes i care you know so anyway i do this new method now like you condition your hair first because that way it allows for you to like you know detangle your hair more easier smoothly instead of you know just shampooing your hair and like tangling it up even more you know what i'm saying and then you when you condition it it's even like 10 times harder to detangle you know what i'm saying anyway yeah that's what you do you condition and then shampoo and then wash it out and then i just do um a deep condition after that but um yeah and then i deep condition for like 30 minutes to an hour it depends on like how far I let myself get distracted with the time and all, but yeah. And you guys are gonna see how I do my hair now. I think it's been it's been over a year since I last did an update. And I ain't gonna lie to you, like when I do these wash and goes recently, my hair be busting. Like it looks good. I will see you guys later in the bathroom. Anyway, guys, I know it's been a hot minute. Okay, I just washed out the um, deep conditioner I had on my hair. It was the black castor oil by Shea Moisture. Anyway, it was really good. I really like that one. Anyway, um, I always leave like a little bit in there. Like I don't fully like, I don't try to make sure I fully wash everything out. Anyway, I'm gonna take some of this. Um, this is by Aunt Jackie's. It's their like argan oil. Yeah, anyway, I just put this on my scalp and then I kind of just like massage it in there. I will continue to use this throughout my hair if I'm like parting my hair in sections to apply my products and stuff like that. I do not like make even sections with my hair. I kind of just like part it however I want to um, put my products in. Like nothing has to be even here. I'm gonna just make sure my hair is like damp, but not too wet. And I'm gonna take some more of the oil and just apply it to where my part was. And then whatever section I have, I'll just like part it. And then I'm gonna take my uh, Aunt Jackie's again. Um, This is their leave-in conditioner. And I don't know, I feel like it works with my hair a lot better than anything else I've tried so far. And then I'm just gonna take a brush and like brush that out. This is something new that I'm trying out and I really like it. It's by Eden. Eden's body works and it's the curl curl defining cream that's the consistency it's pretty thick i take about like this much just like rub it in my hands i'm gonna take my den brush and i kind of i'm just gonna like make sure everything's in there this is by mixed chicks and it's like the curl sculptor and it's kind of like a gel which is why i use it last so um i have the leave-in conditioner but I don't know, like when I was like younger, like a couple years back, I thought it was good, but now that I'm using it, it's really not that good. 
But anyway, I'm gonna just incorporate it into my hair. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't take that much. I only took a little bit. Um, and then I'm probably gonna like separate this in a couple sections, move it over. And then I'm gonna just use a Demi brush to um curl my hair. I don't use a Demi brush like in any sort of like technique like you're supposed to. Um, just like as I'm reaching the ends of my hair, I kind of just like curl it back a little bit. And then I just scrunch this. That's how the first section looks like. I notice with my hair not everything is going to be defined no matter like how hard I try for all my curls to be defined. It's not always going to work that way. Sometimes I'll go in and like finger curl, but I don't really do it for the back. For the front, yes. Anyway, that's like how I do my first section. I'm going to cut the camera's hair. I'll come back to you guys when I'm doing like the front of my hair so you guys can see how I do that. I don't really do it any different, but like I finger curl more often. Loosely tied back my hair in the back. So you guys can see the front of my hair. I'm literally just doing what I did in the first clip I showed y'all. Leave-in, curling cream. I usually take these pieces, separate them, finger coil like this, and then do it again. Just so like the curls in the front are like perfected more than the other ones. And yeah, that's pretty much how I do the front. I don't really like try to break up the part that I have in the front. I just let my hair fall naturally the way it does. And I just kind of take my hair out, scrunch it some more. Like if I see any pieces in the front that are like not as defined as I want them to be, I'll just smooth it out. Then finger coil what I want, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I diffuse my hair, sometimes I don't. Um, today I'm not really feeling like diffusing it. Probably gonna do it halfway, then let the rest dry, air dry. But um, yeah, um, I'll probably show you results later tonight or tomorrow because I don't know if the lighting is gonna be best later tonight. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys in a few. Um, so as you can see, I am back. Um, it's like six o'clock. <sighs> I don't know how long I was letting my hair air dry, but I was just blow drying it a little bit, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm gonna tell you guys like the last few things that I do to my hair before I'm like officially finished with my wash and go. Um, I take some Moroccan oil. I usually like to use um, light oils in my hair and then I'll kind of just put that over the top, like scrunch it into my hair. Like if I see like big chunks of my hair, clumped up together like this i will separate it it adds to the volume so i'm gonna just show you what my hair is gonna look like tomorrow which will be like the final results because it's already late in the day i'll see you guys tomorrow as you can see i'm back anyway this is what my hair looks like i still have my bonnet on put it up in a pineapple and i gave my hair a bit more volume but yeah this is what the results are looking like pretty good if I do say so myself anyway that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment subscribe and I'll probably see you guys next week I don't know yet but probably depends on how I'm feeling I truly love and appreciate you guys and the people that still watch my videos comment on them or just you know show love in general I'm always gonna be grateful for that anyway bye